What is up guys and welcome back. We are here with the V4 PTR version update. So the first thing we're going to look into here is the new garage style that you can see. It's uh, a Christmas theme and we can see a couple new cars in the background there. The uh, E36 or the Wu-Tang has a new body kit. I think they're showing that off. Sticker pack as well. A couple new free sticker packs to come in this new DLC. You can see the driver sitting outside the trailer there. That's pretty sweet. So, a couple new cars to look at, some new stickers, so I guess we should get right into it. So, the first car is the Mira, the MR2, which you'll find in Class 3. Let's take a look at this. Nice looking model. I do like those rims. So, let's go into the body kits and have a quick look. So, kit number one. It's got the uh, turbo scoop on the back. Alright. Kit number two. Alright. I like the option for the T bars on the top. Kit number three. Whoa. That's definite Japanese Wangan style. Alright. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's have a quick look at what we can do to it power wise. So, ultimate. Standard 551, okay, okay. And let's just turn the power right up and see what we can do. So 825, 582, it's not bad, it's not bad. I'm sure that would be uh, good fun to slide. So the next new car is in class 4, I believe, and it's the i8. Where is it gone? Or the Thor E8. It's a strange car to add to the game, but okay. Let's have a look at the kit. It's only two for this one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A bit more subtle with the over fenders. I quite like that wing. Yep, I can dig that. Let's check out the power we can get from this as well. So, 73 straight off. And the engine. 976. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, that looks cool. I like the lights. The lights are really nice. And again, you can see the garages we're here as well. So we're going to look at those new kits for these three cars, I believe. The Supra, the Wellington, and the Wooten. So I guess we should jump into that. So the first body kit we're going to look at is for the Phoenix NX. And it's the Pro Flow body kit. And I don't know about you guys, but that is pretty cool. Let's just set the camera. Get it there. Hopefully it will start to auto spin. There we go. We'll just leave that for a minute so you guys can check out that. Personally, I think that is amazing. Very, very cool. And looking rather good, I might say, with that livery. So that is the Pro Flow body kit for the Phoenix NX. That is really, really cool. Don't know about you guys, what do you think in the comments? Good? I like that. I like that a lot. So let's move on to the next. And that is going to be the Wellington. Now what class is that in now? Because I think they changed that again. Oh, there we go. So I believe it's Pro Flow again. Oh, V1 and V2. Okay, so I'm guessing it's that because I don't remember seeing that before. Let's just select that and go back. There we go. Yeah, that's quite nice. I like that bumper. That's quite nice indeed. It's ruined my paint though. <laughs> Mind you, 
it kind of works. No, I don't know. I'd have to redo that. But yeah, that's pretty sweet. Let's just have a quick look at V2. And back. So that's. Uh, oh, what do they call that? Silati? Silati like that? Front end 180. Again, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I like that. That's really nice. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Do you like it? This is this is cool. I like this. So what's the next one? Let's get on to the next one. So there is a shark nose body kit for the Hummel. Where's the Hummel? I think that's... I went past it, didn't I? Here it goes. Body kits. Shark nose. Whoa. Okay. That is screaming Japan at me. I don't know, I kind of like it though. Let's, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we can do with the spoiler. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, yes, you can put that on it. Alright. Yeah, that's much more, <laughs> much more to my taste. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Again, no, no spoiler. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, all right. There's some, there's some options. There's some real options there. That is not an option. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. So that's the shark nose for the Hummel. Okay, and lastly, there are some new sticker packs. But it does say the Street Tuners one is a DLC. So I'm guessing we're not going to get to see that. Okay, that's definitely new. Got some animals there. Quite like those. I can see people making some really nice designs with that. Okay. Some tears. I don't know if you can hear that, guys. But that's rather annoying. I'm going to have to turn that off. Yep, so some new tribal looking... I don't know what you would call these rips and tears and stuff like that. That one we've had. That one we had. That one we had. Is that new? No, I think this is not new, is it? I can't remember the last time I painted a car, but I don't know if they're new or not. Let's keep going. Let's just have a quick flick through. Oh, hello. I don't remember seeing them before. Okay, okay. Drift Hunters. <laughs> I like that. What? Okay, I don't remember these being in here either. How long ago did I last? Look at this. That was there, that was there, that was there, and that was there. Alright, so to me at least, I don't know about you guys, but to me, this is all some new, newish stickeries. So, alright. Fifth Force, I like that. That's going on one of my cars. Just back down here again, definitely. So I don't know why there's a purple banner here. I don't know if you can see that, but that might be some sort of bug. It might be uh, not quite correct. And I don't see the street sticker pack either, so pretty sure we're not going to get to see that. But those are the new stickers. Before we go and have a quick drive with the two new cars, is there are some now new paintable parts to the car. So let's have a look at this. Front rim, front spokes, rear rims, rear spokes, arm, Whoa! Where's that gone? Okay, there might be a bit of a bug there. That's um, interesting. Oh, okay. Is it changing the colour? That's the strut though. <laughs> there might be some issues <laughs> with the paint. Is it changing? Oh, okay. So, alright. Well, okay. Still, that's pretty cool. The camera seems to go a bit cuckoo. And then that isn't changing. I don't know. I think uh, I think we get the idea of what they're trying to achieve, but, but I don't quite think it's ready because I can't see that doing anything in it. Okay, so let's try rear spokes. I'm guessing that should be straightforward. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So arm should be down there, but it's not letting me zoom. 
and I again I don't see the color changing so whilst the concept is there I think this is going to need a little bit more work devs guys this uh, this this, <laughs> this needs some work but it would be very nice looking at the interior if they'd allow us to paint the insides of the car as well I don't know if that's a thing glass okay no smoke of course and the body whoa all right so body oh and frame one I'm guessing we're not going to see much of that because the body's on the car the bonnet's on the car so if we just quickly go back bear with me guys oh what am I doing plan quickly get rid of the bonnet is there a no bonnet option? Yes, there is. And we'll go back to paint. So now with frame. Ah, oh, what? What's going on here? Okay, well, I'm guessing that might be. Add to painting. Still a work in progress, guys. But I think we get the idea. That's that's pretty sweet. I like that a lot. Uh, was there anything else? So there wasn't any new vinyl features that I read in the patch notes, so we'll leave that at that. But Devs, if you're watching, if you could add in a way to, to match all the inside of that, or if it's not already the case, it would be very cool to be able to paint all of our boost gauges and door inserts a different colour. So if you could do that for us, that would be amazing. Alright, so I'm going to quickly tune some cars up and we'll take a quick run in each of the cars, and I think that will be it for the video, so I'll be right back. Okay, let's take this BMW for a quick go around, yeah, Red Rock, because Red Rock. So the interior looks pretty nice. It's got that distinct three-cylinder sound that you would expect the car to have. Now, being a cockpit player, I could already say that this uh, A-pillar on the left side is rather large and uh, doesn't give much vision. So let's have a quick go here, see if we can make it to the UFO without crashing. This is the first time I've driven it with this tune. As you can tell. I like how the car sounds. It feels quite nice as well, seems to drift quite well. Yeah, it goes quite well. Alright, we'll do a quick run. Yeah, you can't really see much.
that's nice. That works well. That's good. Let's get the next one. Okay. And again, first time I've driven this car. This car has a bit less horsepower than the BMW did. Oh, the steering feels really light on this car. Really light. There's nothing there. Might have to up the camber. Mind you, it feels quite grippy. Engine doesn't sound too bad. Interior is quite nice. I think the tune definitely needs some work though. Yeah, the steering is just light as hell. Like it's it's very strange. Nonetheless. It doesn't feel too bad, it's just I don't, I really don't like the light uh, feedback. It's not bad guys, it's not bad. We'll just have a quick look around. And the car's in the wrong yeah. wrong lighting. So I kept that cool Japanese style body kit on here. I really like the look of that. Stock wheels, just lowered it, put the tune on. So I think that'll be it for today's video guys. If, uh, if you've enjoyed it, drop a like on it for me. Maybe share it with your friends if they want to see it, need to see it. And uh, I'll definitely be bringing you back any info on any future PTRs that have cars in them or anything that's actually worth looking at. So guys, take it easy. I'll catch you in the next one.